an eco san system in Bangalore, India, on the first floor of a house. The ecological sanitation system separates urine and feces at source. So the pan looks like this. This is the place for the urine and that is a place for the feces to go in, of course. Once the deposit is made, you either wipe yourself with a toilet paper and the toilet paper goes in or you wash yourself with water. A bit of that explanation later. But once the wiping is done and the deposit made, you cover the deposit with leaves, sawdust and ash. And so, once the covering is done fully, you close the lid. The urine has gone to the front, the feces at the back. The trick for the washing is to use what's called a tippy tap, developed by this institute called GART. A tippy tap takes out 40 milliliters of water and that's good enough for washing your part and soaping your hands. There, the water coming out it's through the small nozzle. It's a very water efficient device. The wash water obviously can go in into the box there, the sawdust and the leaves and the ash will handle that amount of water. There she is. So see the Raman looks out. Now for an eco sand pan you have good reading material, essential. Aha, uh -huh. to eco. The best of them all. To keep the intellectual juices flowing. The economic and political weekly is highly recommended. The accessories once again. Paper, if you are a wiper. Leave sawdust and ash to cover the feces deposit. If you are a washer, the tippy tap. The nice thing about the pan is that it can be taken out, lifted and cleaned and then put back. Below we find a urine barrel and a feces deposit box. It's an aluminum box lined with paper as you can see. And then whenever you make a deposit, cover it with sawdust ash or leaves. And so like that, once you clean the pan, you fit it back. Let's take a look at what's happening below. How does the barrel and the box be taken out and cleaned regularly? Come with me. That's where they are. The box to the left and the urine barrel to the right. And what do you do? Take out the urine barrel. Flip it out. Bring it out. Hey, this urine barrel, you can use that as a fertilizer, either diluted or direct, depending on the size of the plant, the need of the fertilizer. The box itself, whenever it's full, drag it out. And so, so if the box is full, typically what we do is to put another box in its place close the lid, it's got a nice handle to carry and leave it for about a week. Then we transfer it to a compost bin where it gets composted over eight months. The toilet it itself has a rainwater harvesting system on the roof like so. So the rainwater is collected and this is the water used for the washing ablutions part of the eco -sign box, urine barrel, bottom of the platform with the pan details. The eco -san toilet itself and of course good reading material. The toilet dimension is two and a half feet wide and about six feet long. 